Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP and once again, this is the seven day chart. We're sitting here just above 63 cents. We're kind of still going sideways right now. And a lot of people think what's holding back XRP is misinformation. Experts say misinformation is biggest reason XRP failed to experience major growth. The prevalence of misinformation and confusion is a significant obstacle to attracting developers. You know, I'm sure a lot of people thought, hey, maybe I'll build on XRP, on the ledger. And then later they came into this community and they see major hype. Then there's middle ground hype, and then there's absolute FUD. What I mean by that is you have some people calling for a million dollar XRP. You have other people saying XRP is built for 10K. Then you have people saying XRP is never going to break a dollar, all at the same time. You know, if the XRP community was what it was three years ago, I think XRP would be in a much better place. People would be complaining as much because three years ago, everybody was focused on XRP being the world's reserve currency. And all the talk back then was ISO. But now that we haven't got any value from ISO yet, people are fighting around that as well. But I think one of the biggest things holding back XRP, and it's been holding it back over the course of the last three years, is the SEC lawsuit. Because here in the U.S., no one wants to get involved with XRP right now or RippleNet technology because of that lawsuit. Once that's done, things will change very fast. But I think it is true when it comes to developers. Nobody wants to come and build on XRP Ledger, get involved with the community, and have such mixed emotions going on at the same time. But when it comes to FUD, I always tell people, you know, those people are just absolute clowns. And if you listen to clowns long enough, eventually they will convince you to join their circus. That's why you have to ignore the clowns. XRP soars 12.3% on fake BlackRock ETF buzz. A fan of BlackRock iShares XRP trust filing sparks a surge, but it's all smoke and mirrors. The power of misinformation strikes again in the crypto markets. How often do false reports impact your crypto moves? Share your thoughts. Remember when that happened? And it turned out to be false information. But people most likely bought at 80 cents on that run up, thinking it was going to go much, much higher. And most of those people are down on their investment right now. Maybe they're some of the people that are fighting all around XRP. But here's the thing you never lose unless you sell. So if you continue to hold XRP, eventually you will make money off of your XRP. XRP price surge, dumb money will miss out. Analyst cautions. The expert compared the present price pattern to 2017, which was the year that XRP finally broke its boring price action that lasted from 2013 to 2017. A look through this cycle shows XRP underperforming when compared to other cryptocurrencies. That's exactly what's happening right now. As a result, the dumb money traders complained and bolted, causing them to miss the astounding gain that came after. XRP would then go on to a 600x price gain after breaking out of the four-year consolidation trend line. As a result, the crypto reached a high as of $3.84 in January of 2018. Later that year, I bought XRP. And when I first came into crypto, I didn't initially buy XRP. I was actually chasing meme coins and listening to all these people telling me, this is another, another 100x gem. Buy now or you're going to miss out. 
And guess what? I missed out because I bought in, the price went up a little bit, and people were still saying, hold, it's going to go much higher. And then all of a sudden, it rug pulled, and I lost a lot of money. Then later, I started researching these cryptocurrencies, started looking at XRP and XLM. Those were my first two investments that I still have today. And XRP and XLM are my ride or die. Because I'm either going to ride these things off into the sunset and become a multimillionaire, or I'm going to ride them to zero. Either way, I am not selling these cryptocurrencies because I know what's going to happen next. I don't even have a doubt that XRP is going to hit some very high numbers in the future. I'm 100% sure that's going to happen. Because I've been following the facts. I've been showing you the facts along the way. How Ripple's building all the rails all around the world right now. Do you see a pattern here? SBI established joint ventures with Ripple, XRP, R3, Corda, XDC Network, XDC. We are early to the ISO 222 moon party. You know what happened with SBI? It showed you that two cryptocurrencies can work side by side, XRP and XDC. And now they're starting to push even more ahead. They're starting to expand and grow now. And that's going to grow out into other countries over time. Because once people see the success that's going on with R3 and XDC and SBI and XRP, they're going to want to get on board with that as well. All of a sudden, you start to see mass adoption happening. Onera and Matthew McDermott, Global Heads of Digital Assets at Goldman Sachs. 2023 was the year of proof, proof of concepts. 2024 is going to production live in an inter interoperable manner where we have multiple institutions trading amongst each other, which are commerci commercially, oh my God, commercially viable and scalable. 2025 is the year of exponential growth. You know, 2024 is going to be the year we start to see these cryptocurrencies show their actual value as bigger things start happening throughout the year. I think for XRP, the first big thing is going to be the Ripple SEC case coming to an end. Once that happens, it's going to push the price of XRP. It'll take XLM with it. No worries there. But then we're going to start to see ISO pick up. And I think we're going to see some value come from that. Then we're going to start to see tokenization happen on a much bigger scale, adding more value. Carbon credits are starting to push ahead as well. AI is also going to rise in 2024. Then we'll start talking about the elections. And we'll start talking about mass, mass adoption through mainstream media news around crypto. Because we're going to see a lot of investors coming in next year. XRP holders, this is massive. Santander knows how to fix the antiquated legacy iCross border payment system. That's why they have a partnership with Ripple to utilize blockchain. XRP is the secret sauce bridging the old world to the new. You know, I talked about this in previous videos and people still say, how does XRP work with fiat? We already know it works with fiat. It has been proven. So think about it like this. They could use XRP and RippleNet technology today and fix this current financial system. But why aren't they doing it? It's because they want to get rid of this system. They want to push into the digital age with every other country around the world. They're leaving this current system behind and they're rushing to the bottom. Gensler's SEC sides with Wall Street, not Main Street. I'm proud to join Warren Davidson as a co-lead on his bill, the SEC Stabilization Act, so we can fire Gary Gensler. This comes from Tom Emmer, and this is the best post I've seen under that headline. 
then subpoena him, Grifter. You're the loudest do-nothing poser in office. And I was thinking the same thing. They've been talking about this for a while now. Fire Gary Gensler. Gary Gensler's corrupt, but then nothing happens. It's all words. Do something. Show us the action and get rid of Gensler already. The SEC just scored a victory in its case against Do Kwan and Terraform Labs. Now, I wanted to mention this because the SEC actually won here. So, Ratkoff wrote that he grants summary judgment for the SEC on count four of the amended complaint involving defendants' unregistered offers and sales of Luna and Mir in violation of Sections 5A and 5C of the Securities Act. There is no genuine dispute that UST, Luna, Rap Luna, and Mir are securities because they are investment contracts, Rakoff wrote. He ruled that Howie's definition of an investment contract is a binding statement of the law. He found that UST, Rap Luna, and the aforementioned Luna and Mir are investment contracts under the Howie test. Now, how is this going to play out in future cases with the SEC against crypto? That's what I'm questioning now. We have to wait and see what happens there. Just now, Clamon, Perry and Boring. Digital commerce on how the crypto industry is already heavily regulated with KYC and AML while slamming Senator Warren for misleading everyone. So they're saying that we already have regulations. Now this post I want to mention because I see this all over X on a daily basis. I, ar I already told you ISO 222 is the regulation. But no one believes Chad Steingraber is the one who believes me on this. And I think that ISO 222, let's do it, might be right there. Maybe the regulations are tied in with ISO. That makes a lot of sense to me. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments section down below. Important. For the U.S. dollar, Iran, Russia, and other BRICS countries will all use their own currencies to trade, not the U.S. dollar. Saudi Arabia joins BRICS January 1st. I think UAE also joins as well. Now, people laugh and they say, yeah, right, the U.S. dollar's not going anywhere. Well, the DXY proves something different. Gold above its aggressive continuation breakout line. Purchasing power below its continuation breakdown line. Only two more trading days to go before quarterly close. Now this is the U.S. dollar. Look at where gold is right now. Like I said, once the dollar drops, gold will rise. Crypto will rise as well. People are pulling their money away from the U.S. dollar. And this is where the U.S. dollar is right now. Sitting here at a dollar fifty-three cents, and I think we're gonna fall below a dollar. Things are not looking good at all for the U.S. dollar going into 2024, and that is part of the perfect storm that I always talked about around crypto. I said first we're gonna see the banks fall into more and more trouble. People are going to want to pull their money away from the banks. They're going to put it in gold and silver. If they don't go in that direction, they will most likely put that money into crypto. On top of that, it's an election year, which could play a very big factor when it comes to crypto, especially this time around. We have pro-crypto candidates and anti-crypto candidates, and crypto is going to hit the mainstream media news, and I cannot wait for that to happen but then it's also the fall of the u.s dollar which i think is really gonna give bitcoin a blow off top stock market as well the altcoins will also follow xrp will hit some very high numbers if people could go back in time they would buy apple and amazon stock in 2000 buy distressed real estate in 2008 buy bitcoin pre-2017 by GME stock in 2021. Instead of regretting what you didn't do, focus on taking action for your future. You know, everybody in the next year or so is going to wish they could go back and buy XRP at this price right here, 62.63 cents. 
And the opportunity is here right now. But in, and people are just hating on XRP. They're so focused on the price instead of looking at the much bigger picture. But a year or two from now, they're going to say, I should have been putting all my money in XRP or maybe XLM or XDC, these utility-driven cryptocurrencies. Because I think by then, utility is going to be reflected in the price. And when that happens, it's going to be in a very, very exciting time. And I honestly cannot wait to share that time with all of you. That's what this has always been about for me. Because, you know, we are getting there. I'm trying to keep you holding till you get to the finish line. Once it happens, we're going to be talking about much different things then. We're going to be talking about the price. Where do you think XRP is going to go from here? When's a good time to take some profit? You know, are you going to become a millionaire on this run up? Things like that. People are going to be so excited. New investors are going to be flooding this market at the same time. FOMO money is going to be off the charts, and it's all going to happen once XRP crosses a dollar once again. But you got to stay patient and stay positive. Let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.